This Ask Misty is from a straight person that doesn't understand the hype over the Trevor Project. They feel that everyone was bullied when they were younger because they're fat or skinny or too nerdy or too black or too white or whatever. That everyone gets made fun of. What's the big deal with the, the gay people? Well, alright, it's very simple. If you're made fun of because you're black, or because you're Latino, or because you're too white, or whatever, you can go home and you can cry to your parents, Mommy, Mommy, they call me black at school. Well, the odds are your parents are going to be black as well. They're going to understand and they're going to say, Oh, baby, that's all right, black is beautiful. If you're made fun of because you're fat, chances are you're going to have fat parents or parents that have been fat and understand and can relate to the child enough to say baby don't worry or if they're nerdy or they needed braces or whatever the chances are their parents can relate and understand and comfort their child the reason it's a big deal and the reason that, you know, gay kids have been killing themselves for years and the reason that I tried and the reason that a lot of, a lot of people that thankfully haven't succeeded have tried is because when they get home and they talk to their mom and their dad and their family and they're like, I was made fun of at school, they called me a gay bee on the bus, or I was called a homo, your parents or at least my parents, got uncomfortable. And my mom was like, don't worry, you're not gay. Or, you know, a lot of fathers would look at their sons and say, butch it up, son. Swallow your pride. Become something you're not. Because the reality is, our gov government does not accept us, our church does not accept us, and our families don't accept us. Granted, there are exceptions to every one of those. There are pieces of our government that are accepting, there are pieces of our church that are accepting, and families, of course. But as a general rule, when these kids are struggling with these inner demons, they have no one to talk to. Nobody. And even me, when I was little, like maybe nine or ten years, years old, old, I totally knew what was going on. I didn't want it but I knew what was happening. And my Uncle Carl would make fun of gay people and say, he's queer as a $2 bill, he's going to go to hell, or, you know, he should be killed, or whatever, with his extreme homophobia. And I knew in my mind, and I knew in my heart, that he hated me. Granted, I'm not saying that my uncle hated me, but he hated me. And he hated people like me. So, do you think that I was comfortable going to him and saying, Hey, guess what? I think I'm one of those queers of $2 bill people. No. And it, the sad thing is, a lot of people say hateful, derogatory things and full of homophobia in front of their children. They don't know if their children are dealing with these demons or not. You know? Granted, I don't know how my family didn't know I was gay. Maybe they were just in denial. Maybe they felt that they could pray it away or that one day I would be delivered because that's what I was hoping for. Why the Trevor Project is a big deal is because it is a big problem. It's a crisis in our country. Huge. Death is never the answer. But when some people feel that there's no way out and there's no light at the end of their tunnel, that their only choice is to end their life because their family hates them, their church hates them, their school hates them, that's a big problem. Thank God today we have a black president. We have come so far. But not that long ago, our country was dealing with segregation and black and white and the Martin Luther King Jr. and the Civil War. And now we have hate crimes and we have discrimination of people that you can't actually look at and say, oh, he's not like us because he's, you know, tall or whatever. I don't know.
It is a problem. It is an epi epidemic. And it is a crisis in our country. And I'm glad that we are finally doing something. I'm glad that we're finally reaching out to our children and telling them, we love you. And if your family doesn't understand, and if nobody at your school understands, there's a number to call. So yes, I totally get that you were bullied. And I totally get that everyone was bullied. And I totally get that no matter who you are and if you're bullied, it does get better. But the gay thing is a problem. It's especially a problem because we feel alone. We feel very, very alone in the world, in our bodies, in our families. And it's a very, when you don't feel welcome and you don't feel accepted, it's a very scary place. And that's why the Trevor Project started. You know, it gets better. Yeah, you feel alone and scared now, but I promise you, stick around. It gets better. And like I said in my It Gets Better video, you're going to grow up and you're going to look at those people that made fun of you in school and you're going to say, really? Really? Because they don't matter. Anyways. I understand why you don't understand, <laughs> but I hope I shed some light on your subject. Anyways, thanks for asking, and I look forward to your next question.